Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with more Planet Zoo news, talking about the Planet Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack, the future of Planet Zoo for both PC and the Console Edition, and some more exciting news for the Planet Zoo Console Edition. But before we jump into it, if you are interested in getting the Barnyard Animal Pack, then definitely don't forget to check out the sponsor of our channel, Instant Gaming, because via their website, you can get a great discount count on the Planet Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack, but also all other Planet Zoo packs for PC. And by buying via their website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. Starting right away with the Sussex Chicken, which is coming to you with the Barnyard Animal Pack that will launch next week on Tuesday on the 30th of April of this year. We already did see uh, a little bit of the chicken. Uh, I think it's going to be my most favorite animal of the pack, although I do have to admit that some of the other screenshots that we have are also pretty fantastic of other animals. But this one, yeah, not surprising. It looks fabulous, really. I just love how even though it's it's like a bird, so it can't really do anything with its mouth or beak, I probably should say. It has emotions in it, and now it does look kind of cute. While uh, like if you have seen like the the trailer breakdown, I was like, oh, it looks actually scary. Like how chickens can look pretty scary. So I I don't know. I just really like it. Like how far Frontier went with like designing these animals, and this one actually looks. Kind Kinda adorable and 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 kind even. I don't know. What do you what do you guys think about what I just said about these chickens? And I mean, these little chicks, they look just so freaking adorable. Also, really do like this little barn, by the way. And you can see all the new items. We already did go over uh, most of the items that we saw in the trailer. I don't really think there is much new here. But anyways, yeah, I really am excited to get my hands on this pack and to play around with like. A different style for a change. I know not everyone is super excited for a barnyard aka farm style, but I actually am. I'm actually very excited to get my hands on this one and to uh, play around with it a little bit more. So next up is the alpine goat and I don't know about you guys, but look at this little baby. <laughs> It looks so cute. I was actually complaining uh, at some people in the comments and on Twitter being like, oh yeah, I just wish they added like these mini goats that you see very often on, in petting zoos, at least in the Netherlands. I don't know about you guys. And these are exactly looking like the ones I meant, but then they're not that big or are they? I usually am confused now, but nonetheless, I am just so freaking excited to see these these little baby goats being added. Oh, of course, we are getting babies from these goats, but now that I see this one, I am just even more excited to get my hands on this pack. Like, I don't know if you guys ever had, but I've like bottle fed bottle feed these these little goats on a petting zoo here in the Netherlands and it's just one of the most adorable things to do. I, I wish they added something like that in the game as well but they didn't but nonetheless I am actually very excited to get my hands on these cute adorable animals and they look really beautiful like I did mention like uh, it's probably it feels like a reskin from the alpine eye bags uh, no, uh, no, I'm just, I, I think I'm going to be a lot more excited about the Alpine goat than the Alpine ibex. So I'm going to uh, take back my words and I'm just super excited about the Alpine goat now. So I actually am surprised about myself because I've been pretty bored out kind of with all the same type of habitat animals, but it being a barnyard pack, petting zoo pack thing, I am, yeah, I'm just thrilled about it. So the next screenshot is another one of the South American alpaca. And this one already, like the textures, I wasn't entirely sure about the textures at first, but oh man, they look, they, 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 they do look really, really good. Also just look at the eyes right over here and, and the, the, the face, it, it looks really, really good. And I just love it that they're as snobby as the llamas are. Just, they're going to be a lot of fun. I am sure of that. 
Also, oh, the gate here and the wheels and stuff, the textures look so amazing. How much I wish this was an actual feeding throw, by the way. I don't think it is a real feeding throw. That I really do hope, Frontier, there is just like one more pack left like you mentioned in the previous or the latest frontier unlocked live stream they did mention there's just one animal pack left to uh, to launch i really 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 do hope that you guys will go out of your way and just add a few more different type of feeders and such i think that would be just so amazing to have some wooden things like you're seeing right now that would be absolutely fantastic i'm not entirely sure like i'm still thinking that the last pack would be some kind of um fan favorites pack looking at the meta uh, habitat wish list on the forums something like that please just give me my walrus then if uh if you can i will be so thrilled about having a walrus in the game Anyways, the South American alpaca is coming to you guys with the Barnyard Animal Pack and I think they're looking really, really cute. And next up is the American Standard Donkey. And I don't know, I don't know actually what kind of breed donkey is from Shrek, but I do know that this donkey just reminds me of Shrek. It might just be because Howie has its face. I mean, it's an American standard donkey. So is that the donkey of Shrek? Do let me know in the comments down below. If so, just look at this little one. Isn't it adorable? I just love the color scheme here with the uh, textures on its face. It ugh, looks amazing. Also, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so silly, but I'm so excited about the hay bales. I mean, Actually, guys, this again looks like a feeding troll, but I doubt it's a real one. I really think it's a fake one. I really wish it, it's it's going to be a real one. That would be just super amazing. But the hay and, and also the use of like, I, I don't think this is new grass. I think this is the dry grass that we already have in the game. The use, like they're doing it on every screenshot, the, the dry grass, the green grass, it looks so good. The more you use it, like real, real grass, I'm, I'm gonna use it all over the place when we're gonna, gonna start something with this pack. I'm just so excited for it. Obviously, this does not fit the Eco Island Park at all. I'm still a little bit burned out about that park, so I, I apologize. I... At this point, I just don't know what to do with it. But I am very excited to do something with the Barnyard Animal Pack. So we are going to create some new content again on the channel with this pack. And we're just going to see how things will go. But they don't fit anyways on the Eco Island Park. Anyways, very excited about the American Standard Donkey. It looks super amazing. Really cannot wait to see it in action and also to see the animation that comes along with these animals. It's going to be very exciting. And then next up is the Hill Ratner Sheep. And this one, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. I think the babies you call lambs, right? I, I think so. At least a baby sheep. Let's call it a baby sheep for now. But I, uh, I'm really curious to see these little ones as well because those are probably the only animals that we haven't seen any babies from just yet. So very excited to explore and to check to check these these little ones out. I really love this, by the way. Like the hills they created here and like how steep it is, and then you have like this this grass hill here with the sheep. It looks so freaking good for the person that created this map, Farm Frontier. Uh, seriously, props to you guys because it looks so freaking amazing. I, I'm really curious, like this doesn't feel like the um, scenario map because we've seen screenshots of that. And well, that is probably the least um, impressive work of Frontier Development so far. I'm so sorry to say it. I probably, it, it belongs to the scenario map, but... Yeah, just a comparison with with the scenario map and this map, it, it looks just insane. And I I really love the work here. So so props to whoever created this map uh, at Frontier. But getting back, like the textures on this one, they look really really good. Definitely uh, curious to find out more about the Hill Ratner sheep. 
Looking at this one, I'm not entirely sure if I will be super excited, but probably if I see the little babies, I will definitely be very, very excited about them as well. So yeah, just stay tuned with the uh, overview that we're going to do next week with all the animals. I'm really super excited to check them all out. And then right over here, we have the Tamworth pig. And yeah, I already did mention it to you guys. Like I am, I'm a warthog fan. Warthogs are one of my most favorite animals from the whole game, which are just simply base game animals, just like the bongos, which are also base game animals, by the way. But I am secretly very, very excited for the Tamworth pig. Well, it's not a secret because I already did tell you guys. I'm just super, super excited for these cute little pigs. In all honesty, I don't like pigs at all in real life. I feel actually ashamed to say it, but I don't know. Planet Zoo just makes me fall in love with animals I don't like in real life, I guess. Um, but these guys, definitely very curious to see them uh, rolling around in the mud and play around with the sun and stuff. I think it's it's going to be super exciting. This is definitely an in-game uh, ball, by the way. Uh, but uh, these buckets and, and milk cans and stuff, oh, it's so exciting. I wonder if this is new wood or if this is like the unpainted Asia wood. It could be be both i do hope there is like will be some more uh wooden uh beams and, and structures and stuff in the game that would be just super amazing if they would add more wood. there's never enough wood if you ask me and it would match also probably the gate right over here and i really do love i already did mention that earlier with the a trailer and such but i really absolutely love the rock formations here that they used for these these walls and fences it looks so freaking good it's definitely something i'm going to use as well i do hope they add it as blueprints in the game that would be amazing and again just just looking at this overall map here like the hills and stuff my oh my frontier you really did such a great job on this map i just can't get over it oh but yeah the pig looks here just look at this little face oh this is gonna be very very exciting definitely very excited to get my hands on the uh, tamworth pig in the barnyard animal pack and then last but not least i mean cuteness overload when they said highland cattle like yeah yeah oh yeah okay that that's that's kind of cool and now i see these one i mean this little one is like making me fall in love so so much with them not entirely sure about these textures here but i guess uh, I guess it's probably due to the fact that it's just super hard to create these kind of uh, very long hairy textures uh, for in-game. Like the hair here looks definitely a lot better than the fur here on, on its body. Uh, the, the fur here as well on this one looks better. So it could as well be like this is an early build and then later on when we get the, the full launch version that things will look a lot better. So I'm not actually too worried about that because nine out of ten times when I say not entirely sure about the textures it always looks fantastic when I, I go into the game get my hands on the pack so I should actually just not say it at all but oh my goodness yeah I'm definitely very excited also to see especially this little one in action I mean guys doesn't this face just makes you fall in love it's so freaking adorable <laughs> I can't help myself. Seriously, this is just super amazing. So I'm definitely very excited for the Barnyard Animal Pack. How do you guys feel about the Barnyard Animal Pack? Do let me know in the comments down below. Are you or are you not excited for the pack? Because I do know and I do respect that, that there are people out there that are just not excited at all about this pack, which I can totally understand because... Yeah, well, it's it's not maybe what some of us expected. It's not like... It, it's a common zoo thing. Like, you see petting zoos a lot in zoos, so... But still, I understand that some people just really wanted normal zoo animals or whatsoever. So I totally respect and understand that some people are not excited for this one. But you know what? We cannot, pl or I say we, but I'm not the developer. They, they cannot please everyone. And it shows because I have not been excited for a few packs now. And this one is definitely making me more excited again to jump back into the game. 
so yeah, uh, it's everyone. There, there are so many people, so many wishes, so many per personal preferences. So it, it's okay. Like they really are not able to please everyone. I guess. I mean, even if it was, would have been a birds pack, or even if this would have been an aquarium pack, there would probably still have been people that were like, I didn't want this. I wanted to have african animals or i wanted to have south american animals or whatever you guys know what i mean right so yeah i'm afraid they really just can't please everyone all the time now we did already uh, spoke about this earlier in this video but in case you've missed it there was a frontier unlocked live stream earlier this week so a few days ago on their youtube and twitch channel and very interestingly enough, they actually opened up a little bit to the Planet Zoo community, which I very, very much appreciate from Frontier Developments. It's actually the first time probably they actually speak up like this because else us content creators would not have been guessing all these months of when and how we will get the last Planet Zoo pack. We've already made a few videos about this because while well, all this signs are there that Frontier is going to wrap up development at some point for Planet Zoo because they are also working on new creative management simulation games with the first one being announced probably within a few weeks and then will, will launch later this year. So Frontier Developments is definitely very busy to uh, bring us some uh, new games on the horizon. Uh, so yeah, but that also does mean unfortunately that Planet do development will end at some point and to be completely honest the barnyard animal pack did not feel like a last pack i've already mentioned a few times to you guys that normally frontier developments uh, would close or end development of their games they did that with jurassic world evolution one with planet coaster as well the last pack will probably be slightly bigger and slightly more expensive. So what does that mean for Planet Zoo? We've seen several packs now for 9.99 euros, 9.99 dollars or 7.99 pounds over the past few years. And for the last pack, I'm expecting a pack to launch that would be a little bit bigger. So I'm expecting, uh, or I expected a bigger pack from like, like an animal pack for $14.99 most likely and um so yeah the the barnyard animal pack doesn't really feel like a last pack also not only price wise but also in general like I I feel like it's actually kind of a filler like I think no one actually thought they would be making a barnyard animal pack because it kind of doesn't feel in range with all the other packs that we have seen. Nonetheless, I do really like this surprise pack. Uh, but yeah, I think the last pack will definitely be more of a pack that fits all the other packs more. Uh, but let me just quote what they actually said during this live stream. So we know people have asked if this is the last DLC pack for Planet Zoo. While the team is working very hard on porting everything of Planet Zoo PC to console, they are working on another animal pack that will be released later on this year. Now we could always debate, I don't know, probably there will be people in the comments saying, but they didn't say it's the last pack. No, they did not say that. However, if it would not have been the last pack, they could have just said, we are still working on future content for the game, for example. But in this case, they actually say they are working on another animal pack that will be released later on this year. So yeah, I, I still think my assumptions of one more animal pack, a bigger animal pack, will be on the tables here. And I think that is the pack that they are talking about right, right now. That will be the final pack for Planet Zoo PC. I also don't like it, guys. I hate it. I don't want this game to end, but I also gave up on the birds and aquatic animals. Uh, yeah, I'm just not going to see anything like that happen. Um, unfortunately, pretty sure at this point that they are going to work on a Planet Zoo 2, which will launch maybe in five years or maybe in 10 years from now on. 
And that will probably include the birds and aquatic animals. I mean, Jurassic World Evolution 2 has both of them. So, um, yeah, it, it <laughs> it's also not weird to expect something at some point from Frontier. I just really was hoping it would have been for Planet Zoo. I'm just not really excited about the Planet Zoo 2. But okay, that is not what this video is about. I obviously want to celebrate the Barnyard Animal Pack that that is uh, heading our way next week on the 30th of April. That is going to be very, very exciting, definitely. Unfortunately for the console players, you guys need to wait a little bit longer for this pack to drop. Uh, I'm going to expect that that will be once they wrap up all the other packs. So they plan that for March 2025. So if they're going to uh, launch one more animal pack later, this year for PC, I'm going to assume that probably the Barnyard Animal Pack and that other Animal Pack may be in like a bundle or anything like that before summer of next year is my expectation. But obviously this, this is definitely just speculation here. Uh, but that is what I am expecting for the console edition. So you guys on console will have all the, um, all the packs for Planet Zoo PC before summer of 20. 25 so uh, yeah it's still definitely exciting even though you guys need to wait a little bit longer you are able to enjoy all these animals on console as well and some other exciting news for the planet zoo console edition players you guys will be able to enjoy the aquatic pack and the twilight pack coming to you on may 28th so you need to wait a little bit longer just a month from now on but you guys will be able to enjoy my most favorite pack, which is definitely the Aquatic Pack, which is still my number one. So I'm just super excited for you guys that you will be able to play with that amazing pack. The amazing penguins, the gray seals, and all the other beautiful animals that will be included in this pack, together with, of course, the Twilight Bundle. The Twilight Pack also has great animals, don't get me wrong, but... Planet Zoo Aquatic Pack, definitely one of my top favorites. And by the way, also the most favorite pack of many other people of the Planet Zoo community. I have so many ranking videos on the channel. I will make sure to link a few of them in the description of this video. If you are interested in the opinion of the amazing Planet Zoo community and what they enjoy the most when it comes down to the Planet Zoo packs, so yeah, definitely exciting times ahead of us, guys. Do let me know in the comments down below if you are excited for the Planet Zoo Barnyard Animal Pack. And definitely don't forget to check out our instant gaming sponsor of the channel to get the Barnyard Animal Pack and all your other Planet Zoo packs with a great discount for PC. Leave a like at this video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!